All right, we're going to start out with Acer saccharinum, Acer saccharinum, the silver maple. All right, so this is Acer saccharinum, also known as the silver maple, Acer saccharinum. Now, the name uh, for sugar maple is Acer uh, saccharum, which just means saccharum uh, means sugar, okay? Saccharum means sugar, and saccharinum means uh, like sugar. So this is kind of like a sugar maple, I guess. I don't know. I didn't name it, but that's where the name comes from. Uh, it likes its feet a little more wet than some of our other maples. Um, it grows in swamps. Uh, it grows in bottomlands. Uh, right here, it's next to, it's next to a river. So it's you know lake shores, river banks. Uh, also in like hardwood forests, wet where it's a little more moist. You know, uh, in my backyard. <laughs> Like most of our maples, it's going to be uh, a simple leaf, but it's palmately lobed. It's palmately lobed, unlike something like uh, the box elder or Acer nagundo. So it's going to be simple, palmately lobed. If you look here, we have teeth. See the teeth there in the sinus. And that's going to separate this from something like sugar maple or uh, black maple, uh, Acer nigrum or Acer um, saccharum. So this is like saccharinum, not saccharum. Uh, also, uh, so this is similar to red maple. Red maples also have uh, have the teeth in the sinuses. And remember, in this video, we're just talking about red maples, silver maples, sugar maples, and black maples. Um, we're going to probably do a separate video for something like the box elders, which are going to have uh, which are going to have compound leaves. Uh, so anyway. So taking a look at the back side, uh, the saccharinum is going to have a whitish underside usually, uh, the baxial um, leaf side or the underside of the leaf, and then you can see it's green on this side, darker green and whitish on this side. Uh, and one thing to note is this terminal lobe, notice how it pinches in. So it starts here and it squeezes in the middle, it, and that's going to separate this from rubrum from red maple and we're going to take a look at red maple here in a minute and uh, show you what that looks like so in short uh, red maples and silver maples will have the teeth in the sinus silver maples will have it pinched in here kind of pinched in where red maples will not have it pinched in um, so cool oftentimes on maple leaves uh, especially on my silver maples at home as well um, you see this this black spot. They call it the tar spot, and that's a fungus uh, that's called what's it called? Vitisma or something like that. I'll write it down. Uh, Vitisma species, and that causes these black spots. And it's not going to do any actual harm to the plant. It's just um, cosmetic. It's just cosmetic. So it's not going to do any harm to the plant. It's just cosmetic. But I get that asked. I get asked all the time. So here's what I'm calling Acer rubrum, or the red maple. Rubrum means red. Uh, this is Acer rubrum. Looks very similar to Acer uh, saccharinum. Um, but let's take a look at the leaf, because that's what we're focusing on, to see the differences and talk about uh, some of the issues with this species in the, the, um, its relationship to saccharinum. So one thing to note, as we talked about with with saccharinum, saccharinum, this this terminal lobe here. Well, first off, both of them again have teeth in the sinus here, teeth in the sinus. But you can see this just kind of like saccharinum, beside having this this fungus here, um, it also can have white underside of the leaves. There there are there are um, some subspecies of acerubrum. We're not going to get into those uh, today. We may do another video just on acerubrum and the subspecies. But for this video, it's just going to be the basic, you know, uh, red maple uh, versus silver maple versus black maple versus sugar maple. I don't know why I'm talking with such a quiet radio voice today, but I kind of like it. Anyway, so as you can see here, instead of pinching in, instead of pinching in, like you see on a silver maple and saccharinum, it kind of just goes straight down. It just kind of goes like it chunks up, squares up. See that? It squares up in there. Um, there's also in some of the keys it talks about that the the teeth um, the teeth are more even on rubrum than they are in saccharinum. Um, I don't know if I see that that much or maybe I just don't understand what that trait is talking about. And to make matters even worse is we have hybrids of rubrum and saccharinum 
uh, in the nursery trade, and they they also form a natural hybrid as well. I to mention too that um, Acerubrum is facultative, so that means it can grow in both wet and dry areas where silver maple saccharinum is uh, facultative wet, so it prefers its feet wet as we talked about. Um, it also is, uh, I mean we see it in bottomland forests, savanna edges, you know, beach maple forests. It's, it's a very common species in all over the place and a really cool species as well. As the Laportea burns through the pants, we will find the black maple. And we found it, Acer nigrum, Acer nigrum, the black maple. My legs itch. So one of the first things to point out is that um, just like a sugar maple, which is Acer saccharum again, uh, just like a sugar maple, it's not going to have teeth in the sinus. It's not going to have teeth in the sinus like we saw with red maple and silver maple. Um, it's also going to be very hairy. It's going to be hairy on the petiole, and the underside of the leaf is very hairy as well. I mean, it's super soft pubescent. There is a, a variety or subspecies of um, Acer saccharum that's hairy is, I think it's called Schneckii, Schneckii. But one of the main identifiable features, beside the more, we're not really talking about bark because we're focusing on leaves, but it often has this grayer bark, less modeling. Um, but the, th the real catcher here is that the leaves often have this droopy look to it. So they kind of have this, this droopy look like that, like you see here. And the lobes, it's gonna have three big old main lobes and then sometimes two little ear lobes. See that? So three main lobes and two little ear lobes. And when we see sugar maple, which we'll finish this video out on, you're gonna see how distinct these lobes are and the sinuses are compared to um, Acer nigrum. All right, so here we have Acer saccharum, Acer saccharum, the sugar maple. We're finally here at the sugar maple. And a couple things to note right away. Let's take a look at this leaf here. Note that there's no teeth in the sinus, no teeth in the sinus up there. Uh, it usually lacks hair. Again, Schneckii has hair on that, but usually not on the petiole. Um, it, it has uh, three, sometimes five lobes. Unlike something like Acer plantinoides, if you break the petiole here, there's going to be no milky latex coming out. And you're going to see that milkiness on um, uh, Acer plantinoides, Norway maple, non-native here in the Great Lakes region, North America, actually. And, uh, and it's going to have more pronounced teeth, too, um, as well. All right, so in summary, you have your uh, red maple and your silver maple, which are going to have teeth within the sinuses. And remember, the, the red maple, the terminal, the terminal lobe, is going to be uh, is going to go straight down, and the silver maple is going to pinch in like this, right? So that's the difference between a silver maple and you know with leaves, of course. And then um, remember the black, the Acer nigrum, and the the sugar maple, Acer saccharum, are going to have no teeth within the sinuses, no teeth within the sinuses. Uh, but that's the same with one that we didn't really talk about except in passing, which was Acer plantinoides, otherwise known as um, as Norway maple, which again is not native. Uh, here and that's going to have that's going to have a milky. If you break the petiole, the the leaf stalk, you break that and it'll be have a milky latex. Where our other uh, Acer maples do not. Um, so uh, in short, that's how you tell them apart from the leaves. And then again, Acer nugundo is going to have compound leaves, right? So it's going to have leaflets uh, as well. So this is a leaf. This whole thing is a leaf from Acer nugundo. Um, the box elder and you can see it's compound so that each one of these is a leaflet um they're opposite it looks kind of like poison ivy it's not there's poison ivy right there if you can even see it with the shadows so in that that's it next time uh, i think we might do a video on the fruits and uh and maybe on the uh how to tell them part of winter i don't know uh subscribe and find out cheers